and welcome back to the channel on this video i've dusted off the aerial rider grizzly haven't taken it taken it out for a ride in a while so i thought i'd take it out today and it's just past two years now that i've owned the bike a little bit past two years april fool's day was actually two years so we're almost two years and two months or two years so 25 and a half months basically i've had it and a few things I've changed up uh, since I've had the bike, uh, the tires. I have the Huntsman's on there now, the V Huntsman. Um, the tires that were the original stock tires on the bike were not very good at all, very thin. And I think if I remember right, I got around 750 miles on them and they were really wearing. And that's all I got on those, so. Um, Beware of that if you uh, decide to purchase the bike. Um, the tires will have to be replaced sooner than later. And the sooner comes soon. Um, some of the things that I'd like to change on the bike if I had the opportunity, um, if they were building a new version, like say version four, I would change up the handlebars. I prefer the BMX style. So I would change those out. The seat, this is still the original seat. It's uh, short and a little bit on the hard side. I would change that and make it at least the length of the uh, right here. And what else would I change? Let's see. Oh, I'd make it a little more. I, I think I'd go for 60 volt too. I mean, so many bikes now, 48 is becoming so old. This is 52 now, but 52 even has been around a while. We need to bump it up to 60 or perhaps even uh, 72 but the problem with that of course is going to be the higher you go the higher the dollars you pay but that's those are a few of the things i would change out i'd rather have metal fenders um, than the plastic but it's not a big deal but the uh the voltage yeah if you could change out the volts i prefer probably two one large battery as opposed to two batteries Especially now when they only give you one charger. That way you can charge the thing up all in one shot. Um, when I got this bike, this is V2 by the way. I got two chargers, five amp. Now they only give you one. So that's uh, a bit of a bummer. The bike is right now running for $30.99. At the time I bought the bike just over two years ago, it was $32.99. I didn't get no discounts, no savings at all i paid full price free shipping it did ship pretty quickly once they came in stock when i bought one uh let's take it for a ride and talk a little more about the aerial rider grizzly i have had issues with uh, the bike um, i mean you have your typical flat tire or worn tires or brake pads those have been replaced but that's going to be on any bike that's not just a grizzly uh situation but uh the one problem i had and you can look back on older videos that i've done in the past on the bike where i had controller issues and i didn't know what was going on at the time and so first it was the back motor uh that was giving me issues so the controller for the back motor because there's two controllers it's dual motor bike um and after i finally uh figured out what the problem was with that then i started running just the front motor i normally would run i'm gonna go this way normally i would run the rear motor and then run the second motor when i needed acceleration or for hill climbing that sort of thing I would kick in the second motor but for the most part i would just run like i am right now with one motor the rear motor and so um when i started having the problems with the motor uh, with the controller then i started using the front one and then it started giving me the same issues so eventually i got in contact with aerial rider and they wanted pictures and, and uh, different things uh, to show them the situation so I did that and then they sent me out two new controllers and but ever since that uh, 
uh, change of controllers, the bike has been perfectly fine. I've had no issues. And I don't ride it as much now because I really like my graffiti. And I like riding that a lot. Now I got the new ride one up. I've been riding that too. But, but uh, this bike is a really good bike. I gotta say, you know, riding it when I do infrequently and when I do hop on it, it's it's got some get up and go, I'll tell you that. It's got uh, definitely got some good takeoff. It'll launch you almost like a rocket, especially when you get the dual motor going. But other than the controllers, you know, and then like I say, just your typical flat tire, um, I've had no other problems. I'm going to kick in the both motors right now. It's kind of loud. If you haven't heard an Aerial Rider Grizzly before, it's got that Aerial Rider sound right there. The bike is running right now for $30.99, version 3 they're up to, and since they changed out the controller, like I was telling you about the controllers, I think they put new controllers, different controller in the uh, version 3, because I haven't heard anybody give uh, issues with that, so I assume that it was fixed uh, when they came out with version 3. Uh, the other thing that they swapped out that I should have mentioned too, the headlight isn't very good on this bike. I gotta say it's it's a thumbs down. So on the newer version of the bike, they did put a a different headlight in there, and I, from all indications, it's a really good light. So that's good. They probably should put some uh, turn signals on the bike as well. Some of the bikes are starting to lean that way now toward putting turn signals on. I know the bike I've got coming in August, uh, the Graffiti X, it's got everything on there, the horn, the turn signals, all the lights, full suspension, the whole gamut. So I'm definitely, definitely going to be spoiled by that. But uh, yeah, the, I, this bike... comes a truck I'm gonna to try to beat this truck but this bike is uh, to me it's a it's a tank it's like a it's like a four-wheel drive pickup it's tough it's a tough tough bike very durable if you've got uh, any kind of hills to climb the dual motor just sit, sits well with that it'll work well for you um, yeah uh, do I recommend this bike yeah I would recommend it if you uh, are looking for a bike that has a little get up and go top speed is going to be around 35 36 i changed out the tires on the bike here so that i probably lost a one or two mile per hour uh speed but not very much i mean these tires are definitely heavier than the original original tires those were so thin and light um, you couldn't get much thinner, thinner tires than that they were really thin But yeah, I, I like the uh, the Grizzly still. I think my preference is still the gearless uh, motor. I like the gearless, a little quieter. I think the, uh, I would say the Grizzly is a little rougher ride, a little bit rougher uh, um, than the uh, the uh, graffiti that I have but this thing is built I mean it's a tank it's heavy 
uh, for an e-bike it's heavy it's 104 pounds but uh, with the uh, tires that I put on there we're talking about 110 pounds now this bike so it definitely has some weight to it uh, one thing I did notice on the site because I was checking it out today to see uh, what's going on with it they've taken the the red away now on the on the latest uh, I don't know if they're just out of stock or they're not selling red anymore or what, but they do have the yellow and the blue. But when I got this one, all they had was the red. You didn't have a choice of color. So now we have the, the blue and the uh, yellow. You can take your pick. You can't go wrong with any one of the colors. But that's the Aerial Rider Grizzly right there. And if you... Uh, are interested in it I, i'll leave a link in the description you can go check it out it's uh 400 off at the moment running at 30.99 and free shipping for sure in the lower 48 you just have to check and see uh other places there how much they charge but it's a cool bike and like i say i've had it over two years now so uh still going strong so that's going to do it for this video and hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for supporting us if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and if you want to comment on this or any other videos go ahead and leave that in the comments below once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.